Hello and welcome to Nonprofit Live TV. I am Thomas Aitchison, and we are joining you from Convio Summit 2010, being held this year in Baltimore, Maryland. In this segment, we are talking about the next generation of American giving. Joining me are two people who, knew, who know very well about the subject, Vinay Bagat, the founder and chief strategy officer with Convio, and Eve Smith, the director of interactive marketing with Easter Seals. Thanks so much for joining us. Vinay, let's start with you. By now, the, the next generation of American Giving Study has received quite a bit of attention across the nonprofit sector because of the uh, exceptional insight it has shared about the different patterns and trends uh, among generations uh, and, and donors and, and, and how that looks. Tell us more about the key takeaways and findings from the study. I know you've talked about it plenty. Go ahead and tell us more about the key findings from this study that we need to know about. Okay. So we started the study because I had a belief that nonprofits today are far too optimized solely on kind of the mature donor generation, uh, folks over 65 years of age. They're a very important giving dem dem demographic. They, uh, they continue to give very generously to charities in the US. But uh, when you look at kind of the macro trends in terms of new donor acquisition rates, basically since 2004, charities have been seeing uh, a tail off in their rate of new donor acquisitions. So the question I was asking is, you know, why is this the case? Mm -hmm. And um, I think the real key answer is that charities have not done the best job of positioning themselves to kind of reach uh, younger donor demographics and appeal to them uh, in the way that they want to be appealed to. And uh, you know, there are nuances across generations in really kind of two key respects. Uh, one is channel. Uh, Direct mail remains a very important channel for younger generations, but it's not the dominant channel that it is with a 65-year-old plus donor. Uh, it's, it's much more balanced with uh, online, with email, with website interaction, uh, with social media engagement, and with some people even mobile engagement today. Uh, and secondly, I think uh, the style of engagement is somewhat different as well. Uh, in, in the mail, uh, we typically will use a multi-page letter with a certain type of writing style and fonts with an older donor. And I think the style of engagement with younger donors has to be different as well. And frankly, uh, younger donors appear much more uh, willing to kind of engage in a variety of different ways to support a nonprofit outside of just writing a check. So tracking uh, their engagement across advocacy, across social uh, promotion of a charity across volunteerism is really critical. So essentially we're talking about an undeniable shift that's taking place in the art and science of fundraising for the nonprofit sector. I'm curious how much would you say nonprofits have embraced this shift or are they in the process of embracing it and applying it to their own fundraising strategies? Tell us more about that. I'd say they're in the process and it varies from charity to charity. There are certainly some charities that have a real focus on younger donor generation already. Um, and uh, they're still figuring out necessarily how to then keep those young donors once they get them. But um, you know, I think I think it's a mix. Some charities are further down the, the curve than others. Okay, Eve, I'm interested in, on, on your perspective on this. From the study itself, what were some of the specific areas that stuck out to Easter Seals when you saw the report? Sure. You know, I think what was really important for us is to see that multi-channel approach, uh, which really verified for us that the way that we've been communicating with constituents, we needed to continue to make that investment of not only direct mail, but online, mobile, social media as part of our mix. Um, majority of our audience are the matures and the boomers, and we're certainly looking for reaching the younger donors. So I think another insight was that direct mail really serves all those different constituents. It was a helpful insight for us to really think about our direct mail strategy for reaching those younger donors and not to dismiss direct mail as a way that we could still utilize that channel. Uh, so that's been really helpful for us as our strategy conversations continue. Anything specific uh, that you're looking for that wasn't there, that you're still, you know, I'm sure you're looking forward to more uh, information coming uh, from, from future reports. Anything as far as the process that's changing and how Easter Seals goes about in embracing donors and supporters? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I think um, in terms of social media, it was helpful to see the ways in which the different generations are interacting in social media. At Easter Seals, we've been using that as a means for outreach a little bit more than fundraising. And 
um, especially around disability awareness. It was important for us to be reaching um, different generations about what Easter Seals does and how we can help families of people living with disabilities. So it was nice to see that social media is, has a life there. At the same time, we were uh, really pleased to see the use of mobile. But mobile, not so much for fundraising, but maybe as another communication channel. So it's helped us think about our strategy as a way for communicating uh, with constituents across the age span and making um, mobile accessibility something that we're focusing on more than perhaps a mobile campaign. Vinay, 2011, not too far away. More research in store coming from Cambio. What type of trends do you, should we expect to see in the coming year? Absolutely. Uh, 2011 is the year of integrated marketing and integrated engagement. So uh, I have a, 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 a real conviction that the real big leap for our sector moving forward is unifying and integrating across all of the different channels and program areas through which we communicate today. The market is crying out for more audience-centric marketing. Uh, so that means um, integrating what happens one-on-one -on -one with major donors and with uh, other individuals that we manage one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, with mass marketing, it means integrating across program areas. So if you're doing special event fundraising, if you're doing direct response marketing, if you're doing advocacy or volunteerism, those things need to be unified. And it means integrating across channels as well. So we will be publishing um, a number of different research pieces in 2011 on this theme of, of integrated marketing, starting with best practices and insights into metrics and organizational structure around coordinating across channels. That will be the first research report we publish in 2011. Well, I'm sure everybody will be waiting to see that. Vinay, Eve, thanks so much for joining us today. You can catch this and other interviews from Cambio Summit 2010 online anytime at nonprofitlive.tv. I'm Thomas Aitchison. Thanks so much for watching.